Airports are probably the most engineered places we are ever likely to set foot in. Although we don't notice most of it, everything from signs, walkways, seats, and check-in desks have been designed to control passenger movements. Airport design guru Jim Harding helped plan the layout of Atlanta's international terminal. We have a set of visual cues that naturally lead and guide you through a big open space. And it's a big part of your journey segment, checking in, getting on your plane. And so what you have here, you have lighting that goes up and over and down. You have flooring that pulls you in and through. And the two come together and point you to the plane that you see through the glass. So this design is very carefully thought out, making that customer experience easy, natural, fluid, intuitive. By incorporating directional flooring and lighting into the airport design, the space itself tells the passenger where to go, while the signs merely assist. It might seem counterintuitive, but signs can actually slow us down. You can't resist stopping to read them. So Atlanta has as few as possible But it's not just about the actual speed at which we move. It's also about our perception. There's nothing worse than picking the slow line when you're waiting to go through security. It creates tension and line envy, agitating passengers. That's why many airports now use S-shaped lines, Atlanta included. Serpentine lines have now been proven to be much faster for people processing than multiple single file lines. For the passengers, they keep things fair. Creating one ordered line so nobody moves faster than anybody else. And that means we're all less stressed out by the time we reach the check-in desk. Once you're past check-in, through security, and on the move to the gate, Atlanta has yet more subtle features helping regulate the tsunami of passengers. Take the Travelator. Well, you might think we're going faster by being on the Travelator, but we're really not, at least not when we're standing still. The two reasons why you have Travelators. The first is a matter of convenience. You have long distances of walking, the biggest airport in the world, right? So, you know, the perception is by getting on a Travelator, it's easier to get from one point to the other while you're schlepping all your luggage. 